Carson. His second touchdown of the night. And the Panthers just continue to pour it on. So, my man, another touchdown. They're looking like the number one seed that they earned throughout the year. Looking pretty dominant right now. We knew the road to the Super Bowl would run right through this stadium. Somebody's going to have to come in here and beat these guys. Good luck. I don't think it's happening this weekend. No, definitely not this weekend. And for anyone else out there, bring your game. Fire, beware. And the lead grows even larger here in the third quarter. You just can't do that. 15 yards on the roughing the kicker call. Absolutely inexcusable. The kicker's in a defenseless position, and he just gets taken out. After the roughing penalty on the PAT, they'll kick off from 15 yards further upfield. And this one will not be handled. It's into the end zone for a touchback. The Bucks ready to take over once again. These guys had to punt their last possession, and that's become too familiar of a refrain. Too many of these drives just wound up going nowhere. But you know how in baseball, when the pitcher gets a base hit and he's on base, they bring his jacket out to him to keep him warm. A lot of times, the punter goes to the sideline and puts on sweatpants or a wrap over his leg to keep it warm. He might need a massage from the trainer right now <laughs> from all the work he's getting. And he'll wind up with about six, up past the 30 to the 31. They'll come up now, second and four from the 31. At the 31 yard line. Jones. And he'll be brought down right around the 37. Six yards to pick up, and that's a first down. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. And they'll run it from the gun with Miller. And this will be stopped at the 44. That one good for seven yards. That's a really nice job by them picking up the run blitz and detecting it and blocking it and turning it into a nice run. And a lot of times you think if you blitz a running play, you're going to smother it. But a lot of the blitzers, they come in a little bit high. They don't have great leverage, and they're easily blocked and turned to the side. And somehow he's going to get a yard out of this as he fought through that first contact. It's second down. With a heavy set out there. Three tight ends in the formation for third and three. Now whistles here before the snap. Looked like one of the Bucks may have moved. As a third and somewhat manageable now, not so manageable. Exactly, because you had a play call on that you felt like, hey, this could go quick, and it doesn't take much to get it done. Now, you just start thinking about a little bit of a deeper route type of a call, especially if you want to throw it. And he'll go out near midfield at the 49. I don't care how many times we say it, I still get a kick out of watching quarterbacks and receivers do the pass tree in pregame warm-up. But I always remember that when we go to practices, we see that after practices as well. They really tune it up, don't they? They tune it up. They know why they do it for these situations. First down. And they build that trust, and that's why they're able to find him in this type of a situation. Brady now on first down. Throwing over the middle, and it's incomplete. Second and ten here as we sit in the third quarter of this divisional round matchup. They go back to the ground with Jones. And again, he's going to be stopped up right at the line of scrimmage. Back-to-back -back stops, make it third and ten. Third, quickly to Gronkowski, that's caught. And he'll only get this to about the 44 as they stop him short of the line to gain. They get seven there, but it brings up fourth. Let's just break this down and make it pretty simple. Key to the drag route, letting the play develop, finding the hole in the defense, and giving your athlete, yes, athlete, a chance to make something happen once he has the ball in his hands. Here's Bradley Pinion now, as he'll come on for his fifth kick of the night. And he deserves a bronze leg as he gets this one away. And this one will not be returnable as it sails out of bounds. Robbie Anderson making his way back onto the field. And after the early struggles, we've seen the uptick in his numbers. Do you think maybe it was a meeting on the sideline to say, hey, get me the ball. I'm a key part of this offense. Those guys don't wait to get to the sidelines. They say it in the huddle on every snap, <laughs> get them the ball. But I think what happens is, similar to a great running back, 
have some patience, have some confidence, and just know that over the course of the game, trying to fit it into Moore, but it's intercepted. It's Devin White, the linebacker. And he will score. Touchdown, Tampa Bay. Maybe a small measure of revenge for this defense because they've been thoroughly dominated so far, but a brief bright spot there with that pick six. Seemingly coming up for air after being dominated, as you described. They get a nice play there. Probably not going to change the balance of this game, but they have to feel a little bit better about themselves after that one. Matt Gay on for the extra point. So they get one score back, but still a long ways to go here in this third quarter. So the defense creating some points, not only getting the interception, but then returning it to the end zone for the pick six. So they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. Now this will make it into the end zone. And it'll come out to the 25 as he will not attempt to return. The Panthers about ready to take over. After the pick six, they go right back to the air. And that is incomplete. He couldn't hold on through the contact. Brings up second down. Second and ten now. Third quarter from Charlotte. The throw over the middle taken in. And he's going to be dropped following a pickup of seven. Past the 30 to the 32. The second down completion got him seven. Now here's third and three. Here's McCaffrey. And he's going to have the first down yardage to the 35. Carolina Panthers. First and 10 at the 35-yard line. for a trip to the NFC title game. You are watching the NFL on EA Sports. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. Again, they run again. It's McCaffrey. And he'll get this one up to about the 39 here. It's a pickup of four, and it'll bring up second down. It's now second and six. They'll give it up to McCaffrey. And he stopped immediately there. They'll say no gain on the play there. Now it'll be third down. No gain on the play. Out of the gun now on third down. And he's got the hook up to Moore. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. The Panthers have the first. It's a gain of 12. He's been the go-to guy. They needed a big play there on third down. Went his way. It worked out. Doesn't matter whether they've scouted it or that they think he's going to get the ball. He has a knack for finding his way open and completing the connection. So from Buccaneer territory now, it's first and 10 at the 48-yard line. McCaffrey. And he's going to get this one down near the 45-yard line. Shaquille Barrett in on the tackle. Brandon, I've got to think this offensive line has got some smiles on its faces. And I know it sounds crazy, but they practiced for this back in training camp. They knew they'd be in situations where it'd be extra defenders in the box coming after them, trying to keep them from locking down a game. Right now, they want to show the world they're up to the challenge. Brandon, I've got to think this offensive line has got some smiles on its faces. And, and I know it sounds crazy, but they practiced for this back in training camp. They knew they'd be in situations where it'd be extra defenders in the box coming after them, trying to keep them from locking down a game. Right now, they want to show the world they're up to the challenge. And this is going to lead to another first down as the tackle's made at the Bucks 30. 13 yards, first down, Panthers. 
When this offense can get their tight ends involved, they can move the football. Here, a nice route, able to look it in, and picks up the first down. chance of turning the corner he can only get back to the line of scrimmage second and ten coming up run blitz there defensively something we might see more of here in the fourth quarter I think we'll see a lot of it and, and the difference between that and a pass blitz pass blitz just trying to get to the quarterback you're trying to scheme someone open who will get to the QB and make sure he gets on the ground in a run blitz you're actually trying to cover up gaps trying to cover up holes so they can't run the football third and eight they go again with Davis. And he's not going to sniff the first down here. He stopped at the 25. Three yards won't be enough here as that'll bring up fourth down. A gain of three. It's fourth down. So now the field goal unit trots out there for the third time tonight. This from 42 yards out. Gano's kick is good. And that will just add three more to a lead that's already out of hand. Buccaneers, seven. So it's three more points, and that widens this thing out even further here in the fourth. And you know in this league, you can never have enough points, but this widens it out, as you said, and now it's all about ball control, isn't it? And this will not be returned. It'll come out to the 25. And the Buccaneers getting ready to go as they take the field. Their hopes of advancing past this divisional round hanging by a threat, if that, as they begin here with a first and 10 on the wrong side of the scoreboard. First down is Brady. He finds his tight end, Howard. That's complete. And he'll be out of bounds across the 30-yard line. They'll operate from the 32-yard line here, second and three. Now Brady. And that is incomplete. A lot of force bearing down on him there. He could not hang on. It's third down. Brady going to try and throw on third down. He gets it into the hands of Gronkowski, complete. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Ten yards there and a Buccaneer first down. <laughs> I got a kick out of that one, partner. You and I talk often about trying to hide receivers in certain situations, but a guy of his size can't really hide him. But the tight end drag route? Definitely an effective way to sneak him across the formation for an easy completion and a first down. On first down, Brady. Underneath for Miller. Three yards the gain there, second down. Complete to Lamar Miller. A three-yard pickup. Brings up seven. That first down completion only netted him three. Second and seven. Again, it's Brady. And he finds Howard complete. Brady's pass. Four yards on the completion, and it sets up a third down. One thing I think that's safe to say defensively, the tackling's been really good. And because of that, it's been very, very hard for them to move the ball because you're not... And for the fourth time tonight, it's an interception. Jeremy Chin picks it off. Yet another mistake after the interception there. And gosh, you look up at the scoreboard, they just got to be thinking this one cannot get over fast enough. It certainly can't. And also what happens when you get this big of a deficit, you're supposed to make all the right throws, right? You're supposed to try and obviously get the ball to your own guys. But being down this big, you also take even more chances. And in this situation, that hasn't paid off for them at all. On the other sideline, jubilation and laughter. The drive begins with a run by McCaffrey. 
Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. Typically, we think it's the strong safeties that are better tacklers, especially closer to the line of scrimmage amidst traffic. But in this case, how about the free safety coming up and making the big time play? They stay on the ground, McCaffrey again. And for one of the first times tonight, he's going to be held up at the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play there, so that doesn't help. Now they're looking up at a third and nine situation. And they'll work this down to the 40-yard line, tackled there. The Panthers have the first. It's a gain of 12. Brandon, when a defense just simply can't get off the field on third down, we all know how important that down is for both sides of the ball. You often feel like you're just a step behind whatever they're doing offensively. And one of the differences in this game, no doubt, third down conversion, and that is going to be a story they'll talk about after this one. First and 10, and they've got three tight ends out there. A jumbo package look. 54 to Mike, 54 to Mike. This is McCaffrey. And for one of the first times all night, he is going to go nowhere as they bury him behind the line. Two yards the loss, second and 12. Brandon, it's clearly a running situation when you're up in the fourth quarter. They're going to have to stack the box and make it difficult for them to move the ball. Made it very difficult right there. Now they need to repeat that effort. Yeah, bring seven, eight, nine, whatever it's going to take to slow them down. Behind the chain, second and 12. This is McCaffrey on the give. And for one of the first times tonight, he's going to be held up at the line of scrimmage. Maybe a gain of a yard that time, but now from the spot, actually no gain. So third and long. Able to get away. That's why you keep the legs churning. Saving his best for the playoffs with his third touchdown of the game as his guys continue to pour it on. So an electrifying run there as he calls his own number and takes it all the way. Brings a new dynamic to this offense, doesn't he? And right now I'm picturing the offensive coordinator, the head coach in their minds, drawing up some more running plays for this guy because he brings some excitement to this offense. And just a young rookie, a lot of electricity yet to come in this career. And this one was over a while ago as they just add on to their big lead. So the drive there took six plays. And the last play, a really nice run that culminated in the touchdown. Gano now following the touchdown here to kick it away. Fields it in the middle of the end zone. And this will not be brought out. It's a touchback. Now the Buccaneers offense gets ready to head back onto the field. And they knew this would be tough on the road, divisional round, and that has certainly been the case with the deficit they face in this fourth quarter. Let's go, defense. Let's go, defense. Try to shake off the interception. He'll look to throw. Open man is Howard, the tight end. And he's going to get a good gain of nine here up to the 34. Maybe a good spot to take a shot. Here's second and a yard from the 34. Pass incomplete, but the flag in the backfield, and this might be a roughing call. Roughing the passer, defense. I think you'd agree that looked like the right call from up here. No doubt about it. What everyone has to understand is that the officials are going to be right on the play each and every time. You may not like the call, but they're usually spot on. Not much there, only a yard. Complete to Lamar Miller. A gain of a yard. Brings up second and... Still nine remaining on second down. 49-yard line. Shotgun now for Brady. He's got his big tight end, Gronkowski. And he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. 12 yards there and a first down. First down, Buccaneers. Brady now on first down. And this is caught by Evans. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. Pushing five, nothing to pass. 
closer defense. So a big roughing the passer penalty, Charles, and of course that's 15 yards. And everyone knows how protected the quarterbacks are. You've got to make sure that when you launch at a quarterback that you're hitting him in the right spot and in the right time. After the penalty, it's Miller. And he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. That's what they wanted out of that first down play. Run it down there, now they're knocking on the door. The only thing that would have been better was getting it in, and now they can do whatever they want because they've got confidence on their side. Line up quickly and go, or savor it a little bit, but I run right back at them. And he's in. Touchdown, Buccaneers. Punching it in from a yard away. And the Bucs are able to at least knock this deficit down a bit. And that touchdown, well, it barely puts a dent in this lead. And unfortunately, I'm having too many flashbacks right now. I remember getting beat down like this playing before. Oh, yeah, college, high school? College, not a heck of a lot of fun. I still remember playing and trying to tackle an elusive tailback who ended up scoring four touchdowns, torn 26 yards. He scored so many <laughs> times and had so many great runs, I knew every note to their school's fight song. Bet that ice bath felt extra cold afterwards. The oh, no, 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 there was no ice bath. You're just trying to get out of there before the reporters got to you. So it's Buccaneer football as we welcome you back. They've got a third and goal now as they try to punch in a late touchdown. Back of the end zone. Could he get his feet down? No, it's incomplete. That's an excellent play by the defender. He diagnosed that one close quickly and up forced the incompletion. for the second time tonight, his field goal unit comes out here. Gay's kick is good. And they'll get back three, but this remains a large deficit. Buccaneers, 10. Well, in the grand scheme of things, those three points likely not going to matter much, but I guess they get a little closer, a little more respectability. Yeah, you're exactly right. They've been outplayed all game long, but like my mom used to tell me all the time before I went out, dress up a little bit, son. Make yourself respectable. And that's what they're doing here. They're just dressing up the final score. At their own 28-yard line. Here's the Carolina offense as they get ready to take over here. And it would appear that that first round by certainly helped. They've looked fresh from the start and no letdown here as they lead big in this divisional round and they look to book a spot in the conference championship. They'll try and burn some clock now with McCaffrey. A pickup of about three yards as he's taken down at the 31. That's it. That's what you want. Straight ahead, positive game. Just keep that clock ticking. Snap will come from the 31 on second and seven. 45, 45. Mike, 45. They'll try and run some clock here as they keep it on the ground. And he'll slip his way up across the 30 to the 32. Call it a gain of a couple, and that's going to leave him with a third and about five. Early down stuff to put this offense in a precarious position. We know that securing the point of attack, especially against the big body guys in the middle of this D, has got to be priority one. Bit of a surprise. They ran it on third and medium. Proved to be the right call. First and ten. Brett and every great running backs coach I've talked with has always talked about when you have great vision, 
You're not consciously thinking about your cuts and your moves. You're just doing them. And I think that's what we're seeing tonight. He's about running them into submission, hasn't he? You took the words right out of my mouth. I was just going to use that phrase. He has run them into submission. Wave the white flag. championship how about this what a tremendous feeling to get to the game that can get you to the super bowl a fantastic season unfortunately for the other team a tough tough way for it to end so that'll do it for us for my partner charles davis and all the hard-working men and women on our crew i'm brandon gaunt you've been watching the nfl right here on ea sports the panthers are winners here as we say so long from charlotte
game on, it's about to go down. A juke can shake it all up. My moves make them run them up. I'm lit, so you know what's up. I got the party going up. A champ with the crown is here. I'ma win anywhere. Hey, so shake it like you don't care. I shake it up everywhere. And I can bake cakes by the pound. But the whistle cause I love that sound. And we can just keep going round. I'm ready for another round. Go ahead, touch down like that. 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 Hey, hey, go ahead, touch down like that. Go ahead, touch down like that. Go ahead, touch down like that. Go ahead, touch down like that.
kick it and go, kick it and kick it and go. I leave them out 